Hello everyone! In today's video, I'll be showing you a complete and easy step-by-step -step guide on how to shrink, extend, and delete partitions in Windows 11, including both regular partitions like the C or D drive and the recovery partition that Windows automatically creates. Whether you want to free up space, resize your drives, or remove an unwanted recovery partition, I'll explain everything clearly so you don't lose any data in the process. So make sure you watch this video till the end, or use the timeline chapters below to jump directly to the section you need. Alright, let's get started. The first step is to open the built-in disk management tool in Windows 11. To do that, click on the Start button and type Disk Management, and click on Create and Format Hard Disk Partition from the menu. Before we begin, let's quickly understand my setup here. I have Windows installed on Disk 1, while Disk 0 is my old Windows drive. As you can see, there's some unallocated space, an unwanted raw data partition, and a large 10 gigabyte recovery partition. So I need to clean up this space. Let's start by trying to add the unallocated space to the D drive. Wait a second. Oops, it failed. That's because you can't directly extend the D drive if the unallocated space is located after the E drive. To extend a partition, the unallocated space must be immediately next to it on the right side. So instead, let's extend the E drive because the unallocated space is right next to it. You can see I have 10 gigabytes of unallocated space directly beside my E drive. Currently, my E drive has 355 gigabytes of space. Now, right click on the drive you want to extend, then click Extend Volume. Follow the wizard by clicking Next, Next, and finally, Finish. And there you go. The unallocated space has been successfully added to my eDrive, increasing its size by 10 gigabytes. Next, let's learn how to shrink a partition to create new unallocated space for another drive. Right-click on the partition and choose Shrink Volume. The Disk Management tool will analyze the drive and show the maximum amount of space you can shrink. Adjust the amount according to your needs, then click on Shrink. Now, as you can see, my E drive is back to 355 gigabytes, and a new 10 gigabyte unallocated space has been created. Now, let's move on to deleting partitions, and we'll do this in two different ways. For the first method, you can delete any empty, unused, or unwanted partition directly from disk management. Just right-click on the partition, select Delete Volume, and confirm the warning by clicking Yes. Your partition will be deleted, and it will show as unallocated space. The second method is more advanced. This is how you delete a recovery partition that disk management won't let you remove normally. To do this, you'll need to use Command Prompt, CMD, with Administrator Privileges. Open the Start menu, search for CMD, Right-click it and select Run as Administrator. Now type the following commands one by one. Disk part, and then type List Disk. This will show all the disks connected to your PC. In my case, Disk 0 contains the unwanted recovery partition. Be careful not to delete your active recovery partition. Now type Select Disk 0 to select the correct disk. And then type List Partition to view all partitions on that disk. Now check in disk management to identify which partition number is your unwanted recovery partition. In my case, it's partition nine, but yours may be different. Now type select partition nine to select that partition. Lastly, type delete partition override. This will force delete the recovery partition. And boom, the partition has been deleted successfully. You can now see the unallocated space in disk management. Finally, let's create a new partition from this unallocated space. Right-click on the unallocated area and choose New Simple Volume. Follow the wizard by clicking Next, Next again, and then select a drive letter that's not already in use. Click Next, then Finish. And that's it! Your new drive has been created successfully, so you've now learned how to shrink, extend, delete both normal and recovery partitions, and create new drive in Windows 11. We covered everything from using disk management to using disk part commands safely. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Mara's Tech, and let me know in the comments if you want more videos like this.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.